So I got asked a few times what a star run capacitor is, so I thought I'd just make a quick video on it and uh, explain what it is for those who are wondering. And so, uh, so what are a start run capacitors? Well, a start capacitor helps a motor to start uh, to turn, to begin to work, while a run capacitor will help it to, to uh, operate more smoothly. So basically, a start capacitor is built to, um, to hold a small charge to give an extra boost to a motor for the, to start turning, the torque to start moving. And a run capacitor will help to smooth out any big up and down spikes uh, inside of the voltage, so which can be very good and, and, uh, and helps the motor to last much longer. So a start capacitor holds a charge to start a motor moving and a run capacitor helps keep a motor running smoothly with no big up and down spikes. And so here's an example of a very common uh, start run capacitor. It's a dual round. It'll have three connections on it. One for the fan, the condensing fan motor, and one for the compressor, and it'll be labeled Herm. And then there's one leg for, uh, for common. It'll, share, it'll be a shared leg that for, for common wire for both the fan and the Herm. That can sometimes uh, confuse people, but I'll, show, I'll talk more about that in a minute. And, uh, and here's a single capacitor. But this dual round is basically just two single capacitors in the same package. It's just the way the manufacturer made it to help save on space. They, they can be broken down into two singles and they just share a common leg. Since it's, this, it's the same thing, it's just a shared common leg and I'll have two separate connections for the fan and for the compressor labeled Herm. I'll put links down below for everything that I'm, I'm looking at here. But uh, here's an example dual round, very common. Uh, you've got one leg labeled Herm, this is going to the compressor. you got one over here labeled fan, this is going to the condensing fan motor. And this over here, you can't see it, but label C, it's a common leg, it'll just have both, the, it'll just complete the connection for the fan and the Herm, and that's all it is. That's why there's three connections on a dual round. But a dual round is nothing more than two capacitors in the same package. And so uh, how would you go about buying a new start run capacitor? So what you do is you look on the side and you'll see some uh, numbers, you'll see like, like this one right here, it's labeled 55 plus five microfarads. And so the higher number is always gonna be for the compressor and the lower number is always gonna be for the condensing fan motor. So this five microfarad is, uh, is for the condensing fan, which is labeled up here as fan. And the 55 microfarad is up here on the top will be labeled Herm. And so, and this is a 440 volt AC capacitor. So you just get these numbers right. You go look for a 440 volt AC capacitor that's 55 plus five microfarads and uh, you'd be good to go. This number after it, this plus or minus 3%, is just where this is rated to go up or down. So it can go up or down from this 55 down to like, you know, 54 or up to 56 basically. And uh, you can get ones that are tighter, like plus or minus 1%, they cost more, uh, whatever you feel comfortable with. Usually it's just best to just replace what's in the unit, but that's basically how that works. If you do open up a system and you see a single capacitor inside of there, uh, and, you, and you still see some wires connect to the dual round, and this is very common where an HVAC tech will come out, they'll test the dual round, and the herm side for the compressor is still good. Well, the fan side for the condensing fan motor has gone bad. So what they'll do is they'll just replace, replace it with a single capacitor and uh, leave the, the, the compressor hooked up and they'll hook up a, a single one in there and uh, everything will be working until it goes bad and then somebody else is looking at it and they might be confused. It's basically just a real quick workaround. Uh, they should replace this whole dual round really, but it's very common that they do this. If they do do this and you have to replace it, I would suggest just buying the correct dual round and uh, getting it back to the way it's supposed to be working. You can just re replace it too, the way they, they modified it, but I would suggest installing the correct dual round and having everything hooked up correctly. And so uh, how do you replace a start run capacitor? Well, it's actually pretty easy. Um, the main thing is be sure there's no power going to the unit. And uh, this can still hold a charge, so you, you, uh, you, you want to like jumper it just for a split second so that uh, you, you release any charge inside of it. But basically, once you know you have the correct replacement capacitor with the right microfarads and the right voltage, then you just replace the wires that came off. The, 
You know, you got common wires, just replace those. You got the fan, just just do it one at a time so that you don't get them mixed up, and just replace them uh, one at a time. Take pictures too, so you know that everything you can refer back to it if you need to. But that's basically it. It's, it's pretty simple to swap out one of these. Really, just make sure you get the correct one, and make sure the wires go back to the correct legs. That's basically it. Um, if you have anything to add, please. Please comment down below. Uh, if you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. But if this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.